वेलकम टू नैना टेक्नोलॉजी रिसर्च सेंटर दिस वीडियो इज अ टूटोरियल टू एक्सप्लेन द वर्किंग ऑफ बेसिक रिसर्च सर्किट ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इन एट जीरो फाइव वन पिन नंबर नाइन इज द रीसेट पिन विच इज यूज टू रीसेट द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर द एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इज रीसेट बाई होल्डिंग द रीसेट पिन दैट इज पिन नंबर नाइन हाई फॉर एटलीस्ट टू मशीन साइकल्स एंड देन अगेन मेकिंग इट लो सो बेसिकली दिस इज आवर रीसेट सर्किट In this reset circuit, we have a capacitor of 10 microfarad value and a resistor of 8.2 k. We have a switch to manually reset the circuit. The logic behind the selection of the resistance and capacitance value is that when the power is turned on, this capacitor should get charged in such a rate that the reset pin remains high for at least two machine cycles. When the capacitor gets charged fully, it blocks the DC current. and so the reset pin is not getting any current so when i start the simulation i can see that the voltage which is going to the capacitor it is not available at the reset pin after this if i manually press the reset switch i can see that the microcontroller is again get it resetted so basically this is the circuit which is working for the reset of our microcontroller so now we will see the logic behind the working of this reset circuit when i press this switch manually the reset will again become low and this will make the capacitor to discharge again this becomes low because this ground voltage is directly conducted through the switch to the ninth pin when the capacitor gets discharged the reset pin will again get high voltage when the capacitor will start charging so in order to show this process in a detailed way i am changing the capacitance of the circuit i am making this capacitance to be 1000 farad instead of 10 microfarad i am directly changing it to 1000 farad so now when i play it we can directly see that when i press this pin the voltage here becomes zero volt again when i press this switch we can see that the color changes to blue which means that this pin is getting low voltage when i release this pin again this pin becomes high and my microcontroller gets resetted so this process is easily understood that when i press the switch zero voltage is conducted and as a result when i release the switch the capacitor will start getting charged here the capacitance value is too much so i can't see the charging in order to show the charging process i'm changing this value again i'm making this value as 0.1 microfarad now when i press the switch i can see that the capacitor the arrow mark which is being shown here it shows that the capacitor is getting charged and as a result the voltage which is available at this pin is a also available at ninth pin and also available to the resistor when i release the switch again press the switch the microcontroller gets reset so and the starting as i told in order to reset a microcontroller what we need to do is we need to make the pin high and again low the duration of the high cycle should be at least two machine cycles to know more about reset circuit and other electronic concept join our training program at nana technology research center